Hi, I'm John Sheska. I was born in Flint, Michigan. So I'm not exactly a native New Yorker, but this fantastic city has been my home for 30 years. So welcome to my home in Brooklyn. And this is my office where it all the magic happens. I think I became a writer from growing up with five brothers because in a house full of six boys, I found it's better if you're the one that tells the story because the guy who told the story didn't get in trouble. Another inspiration for me as a writer was being a teacher. I was teaching for about five or six years when I thought this is the audience I should be writing for. So I thought, you know what, I think I'll write books for kids. And I love Rosie because when she skips, her wrecking ball swings kind of like her ponytail. <laughs> so from teaching, I found that the writing that really worked for kids was that writing that made them want to be readers. They wanted to find out what happened next. So that's what inspired me to write stuff like the true story of the three little pigs. I mean, that just seemed like a funny idea. You gotta find out what the wolf's excuse is. He just had a bad cold. He was making a cake for his granny, ran out of sugar, so he went to borrow some sugar from his neighbors, who happened to be pigs. So it was a total frame-up. I mean, he ate a few pigs, but he was just looking for a cup of sugar. Boy, writing is a tough thing. I mean, it's really fun, but it's kind of also like having homework every day. Here's the scariest thing you can see if you want to be a writer. Are you ready? Yeah! It is... No! The blank page! <laughs> but you know what's kind of a cool thing? Like all these books up here, they started out looking just like this. We need to bring back the joy of reading for kids. It's almost that simple to really let them know there's a fun reason to be a reader. It's not an assignment. It's not something you just have to do at school. It's something you do for your interest and your pleasure. Getting kids interested in reading is not rocket science. Expand your definition of reading to include nonfiction, humor, graphic novels, any kind of reading. <laughs> Illustrated books aren't just for little kids. Reading pictures is reading. Hey, let me have a look at that. Embrace new technologies. Do reading and TV and computers. We're on TV. It's all reading. It can work together. Read aloud to your kids. Have them read to you. All ages, little kids, middle kids, older kids. Everybody loves that. 